We have really enjoyed highlighting our partnership and mission with Eswatini Africa over the last few weeks. And if you are a child sponsor at either of our care points there, I want to thank you for participating in our Love Eswatini project. Well, this week we want to highlight some of the remarkable ways that our partnership with Hope Chest is helping to make a difference, not only in our two communities at Enelani and Bobogaz, but on a larger scale in the country of Eswatini. Our two care points are a part of a network of 40 care points throughout the region, and together they are working to support the needs of children, but also to create sustainable development to move beyond aid into empowerment. One of the inspiring projects that we want to celebrate and have been privileged to play a part in is the Umdani project. Umdani is a farm-based project that is developing both sustainable growing to support the care points, but more importantly, as an innovation and training ground for community leaders and members to learn and to discover solutions in agriculture and even beyond. It's a project that seeks to find the potential within these communities and to encourage innovation and ownership to addressing the issues that they are facing together. To highlight the work of Indani, here's Matt, the country director. For the past, for past 14 years, we as an organization have really believed in the people of Swaziland. Uh, that's why we've invested immensely in the development of of the Swazis um, and always we've always asked the question what's next and Umdoni is what's going to take the ministry to the Swazi people to a whole new level this is going to be a breeding ground of innovation and plans and whole life sustainability that Swazis can take back to their communities and where the Bomagis and Bobby's of Swaziland is really gonna come and experience things that can work in their communities. We would love for them to come and learn it here, test it in practice, and then take it back to their communities to bring forth real transformation. Um, I also wanna take this opportunity to thank you guys uh, for each one of you that has partnered with us over the past 14 years. You've made it possible for us to pursue this dream of making Swazis take care of Swazis. Well, at Umdani, they have now successfully completed the installation of a new water tower and are in the process of building the maker space where those at our care points can come and participate in learning and in creating ideas to better resource their own communities. This will be a place that leads innovation towards sustainability. As a church, we are supporting the construction of this maker space. In 2019, we came to you as a church and talked about how we would like to multiply the efforts for the children of Eswatini by inviting other Canadian churches into this profound experience. And to make this possible, many Riverwooders participated and we raised money towards helping to take lead pastors from other churches to Eswatini to see the work there and how their church could become involved. We called it Hope Multiplied. So in August of 2019, Todd led a pastor's vision tour with two lead pastors, one from a church here in the city and one from Lloydminster, Alberta. They toured several care points and were also able to see a Riverwood team in action at Enelani and Bobagaz. And I'm happy to report that Seoul Sanctuary Church here in Winnipeg has become a partner. Their church raised $12,000, which will give aid to a care point called Mangawaneni. One day they too hope to travel there. The church in Lloydminster also plan to connect to a care point in rural Eswatini. And at the end of March of 2020, Todd was scheduled to go help them launch their partnership. Unfortunately, COVID interrupted their launch but we're hoping to see them engage once things settle. There are still resources left in the Hope Multiplied Fund, and it is our desire and goal to do another pastor's vision tour when it's safe to travel internationally again. Thank you so much for joining us in believing in and multiplying the hope for children in Eswatini. Well, one of the more recent initiatives has been the creation of a micro loan program. This has been developed to invest into and provide 
the basic opportunity for a business loan to help support ideas and innovations and income generating activity that is emerging in the leaders of our care points and communities. The pilot of this program has been remarkably successful and has become a catalyst for much opportunity and growth. Well, we're gonna be helping to expand this program by extending its reach to the women of our care points to empower their business and income generating opportunities. I would like to specifically thank Scattered Seeds for their partnership and for their generosity to help make this happen. Well, Church, we began this journey to Eswatini 13 years ago. We had a vision of creating a community to community connection. And as we have celebrated all month long, this journey and connection has been so significant. Church, thanks for your contributions and investments. And to our friends in Eswatini, thank you for your friendship and for the example of faith that has changed us and continues to challenge us. We love you, Eswatini.